Wireless connection means there are no limits. The problem is that it can be interfered with. Please pay special attention to this point. This DJI Pocket 3 connects to Atom Mini Pro Broadcaster. Application for video switching. At this time, your iPhone, it will be a wireless camera. Android phone, it will be a wireless camera. Turn wireless into the output, usually, this kind of video switcher. This camera requires a wired HDMI connection. It's a Sony camera. What about itself? It has this HDMI output. Just use an HDMI cable. Connect to the HDMI in 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. However, under certain circumstances, cable cameras are inconvenient. Use a wired camera. As I walked around inside, it will be a hindrance to the performers. Can I use wireless? Okay, normally. Some are wireless. This is the HDMI output of this camera. This is another HDMI wireless transmission. But at this time, we will create the front end of the camera. What kind of battery should I add? What stabilizers should I add? Next, you need to add the wireless transmission module. It becomes very heavy. It's not that simple. Today I'm going to show you a very simple way to do this. Can I have my iPhone approved? Or this Android phone? Become a wireless camera. You can use this DJI Pocket 3. Become a wireless camera. Here's what I think. Our iPhone. Usually you can download the live streaming app. It will be broadcast live. What is Facebook? YouTube is called a live broadcasting app. All you need is a live broadcast on your iPhone or Android smartphone. In this box, this is called RTMP2 The Adapter. Broadcast live from your iPhone or Android smartphone to this box. After this box receives the RTMP signal, convert to HDMI. Now connect me to video switcher. Achieve. Purpose of wireless cameras connected to broadcasting stations only has a wired network interface. So you need to have a router. Such a router, this router, affects the quality of wireless communication on mobile phones. The higher the quality of this router, wireless transmission is more stable. The usual, I bought it from Xiaomi for USD $90. This router is of high quality. So today, I would like to introduce how to pair your iPhone with an Android phone. Become a wireless camera, then connect to the video switcher. You might also want to consider the DJI Pocket 3. Become a wireless camera. Directors involved in this video. First, prepare a professional router. I actually tested it using Xiaomi, a router costing USD $90. Then, where is the IP of this router? Must be set to IP address. Why use this IP address? Because our RTMP2 HDMI converter, the domain is 192.168.1.217. This has been fixed. Can change. If everything is open, the settings are endless. So it should work with my device as this IP address. Therefore, the IP location of the router should be 192.168.1.1. Okay, so what is it? Connect a separate wired Ethernet cable. Connect to RTMP2 HDMI converter. This Ethernet interface is HDMI output. Connect to this broadcaster. Connect it to channel 2. Finally, add this RTMP converter. DC 12 voltage. Like this. At this time, the Fabian logo will be displayed on this station. Connect a third cable of the router to the RTMP to HDMI converter. This Ethernet input interface. The HDMI output of the converter is connected to Atom Mini Pro. At the moment, this router and this converter are in the same network domain. I just put my phone down. Just broadcast live to this box. How to stream live? First, set up your iPhone. First, open this console. First, connect to the Wi-Fi Seed Fabian Store. This Wi-Fi SSID is this. Well, maybe your name isn't. For now, it's better to connect it to this, then download another app. Media link live. It opens like this. Try pressing where the tire mark is. Then there is the management connection. Click here to add a live broadcast. I am doing RTMP live broadcast. Let's fight this. Take whatever you want. 
So what about here? The arrow here is rimmed. Then this key. This is test 1. This is how it was done. Yes, you can set it here too. Live broadcast resolution when manually pressed. I am using 4 HD. The byte rate was adjusted to 800. Very good. I'll definitely press live right now. I set this to RTMP2. Just press live. Live broadcast to this box here. You can see. Please pay attention here. There should be video here. Have you seen it? Do you see any live video? Now, let's start adjusting to full screen. That's good. Well, then please open it. Do you understand? At this time, your iPhone. Oh, it's a wireless camera. Anyway, wireless is dangerous. Be aware of this risk. In general, if you don't have much Wi-Fi in your space, there are no major issues with interference. Now, next I'd like to introduce how to turn your Android phone into a wireless camera. Android phone, wireless. You must connect to this router first. Next, you need to download the app. Camera off leave. The far right of camera leave. There is something called custom RTMP. You can also enter this URL. RTMP 192.168.1.217. Key is test 1. Click OK and make it be horizontal, like this. Start. Very good. Then press Start Live Broadcast. Just press Live. At this time, your Android smartphone will broadcast live to this box. This box converts to HDMI and connects to video switcher. Look like this. Look like this. Hello. Raise the volume. Hello, hello. I hear a roaring voice. This is fine. At this time, your Android phone. It will be a wireless camera. We just will show you how to use this iPhone and Android phone. Become a wireless camera. Connect to this broadcaster. This time we will introduce the DJI Pocket 3. Can also be used as a wireless camera. And connect to Atom Mini Pro. First, open DJI Pocket 3. You should be like this. But mine is. His screen is broken. So I made it like this. Same principle. It's exactly the same. Regardless, the presentation needs to be horizontal. First, put it on the table. Then open. Android smartphone or iPad DJI app. Then search for this DJI. Go to search to join. Okay, so you can see this screen is from a GJI. Please refer to this. Good. Currently, there is an option for live streaming. Live press to start live. You can see there are three options here. One is Facebook Live, YouTube Live Broadcast and RTMP Live Broadcast. Just press RTMP to broadcast live. There are also live broadcast settings. So please press it. What router would be your first choice at the moment? Which router should I connect this GJI? Is this it? Let's take this as an example. The name is Fabian Store. Just connect. It may not be the name of your router. Just choose. Just choose the router you want. This is the second RTMP URL. This time we'll play it differently. There are just two slashes. Are we broken up now? RTMP. Everything is connected together. Then select the resolution as 4 HD. You can then choose the growth rate as needed. Now we need to select this traffic priority here. That's good. Once you're done, click start live broadcast. At this point you put the iPad aside. At this time, your DJI Pocket 3. It will be a wireless camera. The original DJI Pocket 3 is now a wireless camera. Connecting the Atom Mini Pro Video Switcher. Turn audio off. Let me share some practical information. DJI Pocket 3. Quality requirements for this wireless router. Very sensitive. If you really want to use the GJI Pocket 3, if it becomes a wireless camera, your wireless router, be sure to choose carefully. Very, very sensitive. 
I don't know why. It's just very sensitive. What about the current iPhone or this Android smartphone? As a wireless camera, this wireless sensitivity, not so expensive router. This is my actual experience testing it. So anyway, your wireless router, we need to prepare something more specialized to be able to reduce it to some extent. Some risks in radio transmission. This RTMP2 HDMI converter, in addition to what I just said, what is the difference between Android and iPhone smartphones? In addition to DJI Pocket 3, we are also connected. This DJI Pocket 2 can also be used. This GoPro can also be used because GoPro itself can live stream. Anyway, what about your camera? Direct live broadcast possible. Camera capable of RTMP live broadcast. All connectable. My RTMP2 HDI converter. The rest of the setup is the same as before. The only difference is the interface of the camera app. Maybe it's a little different, but the entered URL is and this key. They are all exactly the same.